Who is Aspen, you ask? Let's find out, shall we? <laughs> Aspen Sarcellas, a new Miss Sinclair character, introduced in the final season of Miss Sinclair. Aspen wasn't always a ghost. She was once a human, just like any other ghost. As an average 13-year-old girl, all she wanted to do was spend time with family and do whatever else a 13-year-old girl would do. Homework, art, all that average stuff. As she grew older, her love for fashion grew more and more. She grew up and was born and raised in, well, Paris, France. But a part of her wanted to visit other spots. Sure, Paris was amazing. But she was just missing something she was looking for. So she tried finding jobs at other places, such as New York. But she couldn't find any good fashion studios. Turns out the best one was right where she was all along. There was a fashion studio that was welcoming young artists who had a knack of specialty and almost prodigy level of art designing. Fashion designing, you could say. One day, a girl of the name of Lucy Rapar came to model for her new outfit. She called it Summer Reflections. It was a beautiful, original design by, by Aspen herself. However, she couldn't help but wonder exactly what was so special about this girl, but she just felt a strange connection, a strange aura around her. It wasn't of familiarity, but more of a sense of... It's hard to explain how she felt, but she just felt like something important was going to happen with Lucy in the future. Aspen was at her safe, comfy, and cozy home when it happened. She was in a very deep sleep, having dreams about who knows what, when someone came into their house. Scared to death, she turned on the light real quick, got her slippers on, and ran towards the door. She tried to lock it, but it was unlocked. She ran straight to her parents' room to check if they were all right. They weren't in there. She checked out in the backyard to see if that door was locked as well. That was the only door that was locked. Nervously panicking, she held her hair back, all scared and anxiously. She ran towards the kitchen when she saw knives all over the floor. It was from the gift that she gave her mom, a cutting board full of knives. She heard a clatter from upstairs. She did not want to go up there. She ran out the house and wanted to call 911, but her phone battery died. The person came out and chased her. She tripped on a rock and came unconscious. When she woke up, she didn't look the way she used to. She was none other than a ghost. She ran towards the nearest lake to get a sip of water, but the water fell right through her hands as if she was just a transparent being, because she was. Aspen didn't ever want to come to this. She was only 16 when she passed away. She didn't even know what happened to her parents. But she knew after the grief had settled, it was time for revenge. Aspen was angry. You could even say frustrated. In complete fury of this person. She had a perfect life in France before they came and killed her. She had no idea who it could have been. The thing she would start out with is figuring out who it could be from the people she's known. She knew a lot of people as she was a fashion designer. And then her mind came back to Lucy Rapar. She knew Lucy gave her interesting vibes, but she could not describe what it was. Do you think she could possibly have done it? Or maybe someone related to her? She never wanted to harm anyone, but she knew that if... She was a ghost, an angry ghost, looking for revenge. She would have to do whatever it took to find the murderer and get rid of the murderer for once and for all, begging for life again. She couldn't stand her life as a ghost. 
She couldn't talk to anyone except other ghosts. She often came to any isolated place she knew no one would go. Usually Devil's Gap or Scarecrow Hill, the most common ones. She didn't have a home anymore as she was too afraid to go back. She obviously ran over to Jorvik as that was the only place that people really believed in ghosts. Sure, some had their ideas, but she knew Jorvik was the place where the real believers happened to be. Her research retraced back to a couple of people. The Rapar family was a very long line of people. Lucy Rapar was actually a mother at the time she modeled. She had a child named Benjamin Rapar, who was married to Lisbeth. She was a girl who usually just sang at karaoke night at the Fort Pinta Disco. She didn't think she had any use, but when she discovered she was also a ghost, she started thinking, maybe this isn't a coincidence. Maybe her own... No. Her own husband could have killed her and... No. It just couldn't be. Too rotten and disgusting, even for someone like her, if she is. As she studied and spied a little bit more, she found more information about Lisbeth and Benjamin. Benjamin also passed away, and turns out Lisbeth died from a sudden incident. It all traced back to a girl named Yulvana, but no matter how much she would try to get information from her, Yulva didn't seem like she wanted to share anything about her. Was it possibly pain? Grief? Or was it she might have done something? Aspen didn't want to ask such crazy questions, but she had no other choice. She was still on the hunt. It's been several years since she was killed. She's now 20, and she's still finding out who the murderer was. And now that she's got her hands on Yulva, she'll try to do anything. Of course, she can't exactly have her hands on her, but by that she means she knows exactly what she wants. She just needs a few more pieces of the story to find out next. She found out Lisbeth's entire family was dead, and that's when she started to use threats. She found a girl named Roxanne and decided to make a deal with her. If she could curse a horse to curse Sally, her daughter, then she would help her out and not ask any questions. Of course, she took the deal and helped Roxanne. She left the deal back to studying who the murderer possibly could be. She tried to clean her hands of anything. But there was one detail that we never explained to you. Aspen happened to curse Lisbeth, in a way, when she found her. That, you'll have to find out in Season 3 of Missing Claire. Thank you for listening to the short story. We hope you enjoyed and we're excited to show all of the exciting plot twists we have planned for Season 3. If you enjoyed, make sure to comment and like and subscribe. We hope to see many exciting things happen in this last season. More explanations on what will happen is coming soon. See you guys later. MC Squad out.